So just to start, can you tell me what does non-binary mean? So non-binary is an identity for anybody who identifies outside of the gender binary. So that is male and female. So anybody who identifies outside of that or in between. When did you start identifying as non-binary and what did it change about your life? So I identified as non-binary for about four years now. Uh, I was actually researching for a role that I was playing on a web series and the character happened to be genderqueer and I was like, what's that word mean? And then I researched it and I was like, wow, non-binary is a thing? I can actually be the way that I am and it's not like I'm not broken. There's words for me and I think it just gave me the confidence to go out in the world and be myself because I finally had the language to describe me. What's the difference between non-binary and trans? If you're non-binary, it technically falls under the trans umbrella, but you're not necessarily transitioning from one end of the binary to the other, but you might do things to help with your dysphoria. So dysphoria is when you have something about your physical appearance that doesn't match up with the way that you feel inside. So I know a lot of people in the non-binary community use gender neutral they, them pronouns. Yeah. Is that grammatically correct? Is that the right way to use it? Here's a fun fact. We've been using they and them as a singular pronoun for like hundreds of years, so that's not a new thing. Also, uh, I get that a lot. I get a lot of people being like, well, it's not grammatically correct. And I'm like, well, I just heard you like a sentence ago be like, to each their own. In which case, that was grammatically correct and you were using it in a singular sense. <laughs> people like to contradict themselves. So I got a little test for you. So we just uh, talked about pronouns. So why don't we have a conversation where we just talk about everyone using they and them and see how that goes. Caitlin woke up today and got out of bed and yeah. then they went to have <laughs> Breakfast, breakfast, assumedly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I went to work and I ate some toast. Mm, and mm. Uh, if I was talking about myself in the third person, I'd be like, <laughs> they thought it was delicious. Is non-binary just about gender? Is that the only aspect of your identity that it affects? Well, yeah. So non-binary is just about gender. It's just about like the way that I identify. But it has also made me reframe the way that I identify my sexuality. I used to identify as a lesbian. And then when I came out as non-binary, I was like, well, I'm not a woman who likes women anymore. So how do I identify? And then I discovered queer and I was like, oh, that embraces everything about me. It embraces my identity, it embraces my sexuality, and it's just like a catch-all term. What are some challenges that non-binary people face? I found that when I came out, there was a lot of misconceptions and misunderstandings within the LGBTQ plus community itself. A lot of trans people were saying that my identity isn't valid. A huge issue that I've faced is getting people within the community to understand because if they can understand, then the outside community will have a better understanding of us too. So bathrooms. Yes, I use them too. <laughs> yeah, I just hope that there's gender neutral stalls and if there's not, I resort to whatever bathroom feels most comfortable for me at that moment. In terms of being misgendered, how does that affect your life? It pretty much affects every social interaction I have. Talking to anybody from an older generation, I'm genuinely afraid of bringing up my gender and my pronouns because I don't know how they're going to take it, if it'll make the environment difficult to be in. So it's kind of just like, a, instance by instance basis on like if my comfort is going to be matched here or if I just have to suck it up because I don't want to face like a bad interaction. How can allies support non-binary friends and loved ones? When I came out I actually had like a lot of people in my family and my close friends just they didn't know anything about non-binary they didn't know how to approach asking questions and I kind of just said let's sit down you ask me everything that you're curious about don't worry about it if it's offensive I'll explain everything to you and once they had a better understanding and they weren't afraid to ask those questions the rest was easy so I think allies just need to not be afraid to ask the uncomfortable questions and just have a dialogue because a dialogue can make a difference